Liam, a 1-0 defeat today against Stoke. Just your, your thoughts on your team's performance, first of all. Um, yeah, I think, I think the game possibly was a 0-0. You know, both keepers didn't really have, have much to do. It was a tactical, you know, we cancelled each other out in large parts. Um, but it's a moment of, you know, real quality that wins the game. Uh, so congratulations to Stoke. I think, you know, second half particularly, I thought we were the aggressor without, you know, really opening them up and, and creating that quality of chance and, and that's probably the, the, you know, the first emotion, you know, there was a game there to, to get a positive result and, you know, we got in areas, final third entries where, you know, you want a better decision, you know, be more aggressive with your decision making and, and that's what we, you know, we spoke about straight after the game. Was that one of the messages at, at half time today? Because it certainly seemed for the first 15, 20 minutes of the second half, there, there was a real extra extra bite in there, you just couldn't quite keep it going or, or get that final moment. Yeah, absolutely, you know, we want to be you know, a real competitive version of ourselves with what we've got available at the minute and, and take the game to certain areas. Um, and I thought second half, we took the game up the pitch, you know, 10, 15 yards and within the moments, I think we've got to score, um, you know, within that period where we felt we were the aggressor because, you know, like you say, we're playing Stoke, they've got abundance of quality. You can see the squad, the, the lads who were coming on the pitch who didn't get on the pitch. Um, so it's a, it's a real good, healthy challenge for us at the minute. And, and like you say, we need to be functioning at, uh, you know, 100% you know, every game for, the, for this challenge that we've got. And like you say, you can never um, disregard the commitment and the, the work ethic and the endeavour from, from the players and from the group. Um, but, you know, we need that the moments of quality and quality of player to, to, to make them differences, really. Yeah, no shots on target today. That must be a concern from your perspective. Yeah, absolutely, because we work hard enough to create them moments. And, and like you say, it comes down to decision-making and, and functionality around um, around what we're trying to do. Um, I thought we had enough moments. Like you say, it's a probably a balance within the game. Uh, I don't think Stoke had that many shots on target either. So it was one of them games where, you know, if we're not going to win, we certainly don't lose. But, um, you know, unfortunately, it was a moment of, you know, real quality that won the game. Is that a frustration today in a home game where you feel you could have got something from it in the fact that you've defended pretty well as a team, haven't had too much from the opposition, that it's maybe at least a point that slipped away today? Yeah, definitely, I think. If it had been, you know, the, the score round, the flip the other way around, I think their manager would be saying the same thing as myself. Um, wasn't much in the game, cancelled each other out in large parts. Uh, we just, you know, one team needed that moment of magic and unfortunately it, it fell to Stoke. Um, but like I said, the, the, you know, the commitment and the work rate, I thought we earned enough of that, certainly in the second half, uh, to create more of a quality of chance really, more of a belief that we're going to get a result. In terms of the goal, it's a wonderful free kick from the lad, but in terms of the, the, the bit beforehand with, with the foul, was there much in it? What, what did the players say at half-time? Yeah, I didn't think so initially. Um, so, I mean, listen, the, the referees and the officials have got a million moving parts, haven't they? So, you know, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. I didn't think it was a foul initially, and, and it always <laughs> the case that he lands in the back of your net, but uh, without seeing it back, I can't really comment on that. Does this reiterate now just how much you need to add a couple of, of quality additions this month, people that are going to improve your first 11, not just come here and, and fill out the squad? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's been paramount since since came in the building. It's been paramount before you know January the 1st and you know, we've got to work hard to get you know quality and bodies within within the group because, like you say, with the injuries, the position that we're in, it's important that we, we have the quality. If we want to be competitive going around the country in a really healthy, challenging league, we certainly need to do that. And are you hoping that you can do that soon? Are you, are you hoping that you can get people in this week rather than wait until the end of the month? Yeah, of course. I think every, every team's the same, aren't they? Every organisation's the same. You want to evolve and improve every day, daily, whether it's on the training ground, whether it's within the squad, around the stadium, etc. Um, you know, I'm no different to, to any other head coach around there. You know, you, we want reinforcements, we want quality of player to add to what we've got. Was anybody close to coming back today from an injury perspective? Uh, no, not the minute, no. Peter Chioso's situation clearly been recalled, wasn't in the, the squad today. Was that an injury? Why, why was he not involved? Uh, just illness. He's been, he's been ill for the last few days, picked a bug up, so uh, you know, fingers crossed he can get better soon. It's probably too early to, to get involved. We're not eating and, and sleeping correct, but uh, fingers crossed he'll have a good training week next week and get involved for the weekend. There were suggestions flying around on, on social media that he'd refused to play today or, or not wanted to, to get involved. Is that absolute nonsense? What do you want to say about I'll that? I'll just give you the, the answer. Yeah. Okay.